Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. His sister, Caroline, is watching at home in New York, where she's celebrating her husband's birthday and tending to their new baby daughter. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Over a quarter century ago, my father stood before you to accept the nomination for the presidency of the United States. So many of you came into public service because of him. In a very real sense, because of you, he is with us still. And for that, I'm grateful to all of you. I owe a special debt to the man his nephews and nieces call Teddy. Not just because of what he means to me personally, but because of the causes he has carried on. He has shown that an unwavering commitment to the poor, to the elderly, to those without hope, regardless of fashion or convention, is the greatest reward of public service. Thank you. I'm not a political leader, but I can speak for those of my age who have been inspired by Teddy to give their energy and their ideas to their community and not just to themselves. Thank you. Thank you. In that ongoing effort, young people, and not only the young, but all like-minded citizens, all of you, will be guided by the honorable and unyielding example of the senior senator from Massachusetts. Thank you. that our hope is not lost idealism, but a realistic possibility. America is better because of the leadership of Edward Kennedy. Thank you. May he continue to guide us for many years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, my uncle, Ted Kennedy. Kennedy is very fond of John Kennedy, but in that family, of course, there's a lot of good-natured kidding, and you can already hear the cousins critiquing young John's introduction tonight. They'll be teasing him about that, but no doubt they're very proud because it was a sterling performance. He is interested in the theater and dramatic arts, and I think that he demonstrated that tonight he can hold his own as a member of the Kennedy family when it comes to a public appearance. Now his uncle, Thank you, John, Senator Kennedy. For that. We would obviously hope that one time he would be here accepting the Democratic presidential nomination of his party, but that was not to be. Thank you, Tom. I am here with John F. Kennedy, Jr., doing his first interview. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. 
you. Tell me, that was your first time speaking before such a large audience, wasn't it? It was. I, I've done an occasional campaign appearance for Teddy, but this is certainly the largest that I've ever seen. And how did it feel? felt pretty good, <laughs> surprisingly. Were you nervous at all? Yeah, I was very nervous. <laughs> but, uh... It happened, you know. It's it's over. I knew it would be over soon, so that's all I thought of that really. Tell me why you decided to do it. Uh, because Teddy asked. Um, that's enough. <laughs> now you're, uh, what year in law school are you at NYU? I'm, I'm finishing my last year, uh, beginning in September. Do you think you might be interested in going into politics? Well, I'm completely busy and consumed by what I'm doing now, and, uh, you know, obviously, I um, find public issues interesting, and I can't help but find a convention like this interesting. But uh, I'm just, you know, I'll see what happens, and I'm happy doing what I'm doing. One of your uh, cousins, I think, Patrick, is a mm -hmm. delegate from Rhode Island. Yeah. Would you consider doing that maybe four years from now, becoming a delegate? Uh, so I, I really can't think what I'm doing next year, what I'm doing in four years. Uh, I, I, I really don't know, but um, I'll just have to see. All right, and congratulations. Your Thanks sister just much. had a baby? Just had a baby. I'm an uncle and getting used to it. So. Thank you so much. Thank John you. F. Kennedy, Jr., thank you for being with us. Tom? Thank you very much, Connie and John F. Kennedy, Jr.